we are now live. All right, shalom everybody. Peace of the Lord to all of you. Uh, let me know, please, if you have any problem with my sound, if it's uh, not strong enough. Uh, uh, you know, today we'll talk about many things, but uh, starting we will talk about uh, what's going on in Israel. Uh, we heard in the news today that Israel gave an evacuation order to the civilians, so-called civilians, which I don't believe they are exist, uh, to evacuate from uh, the city of Rafah, which is a very center uh, city and a very important hub for terrorism, uh, to evacuate. Uh, we will hear together what Netanyahu was saying in the um, like memoriam or the memorial of the uh, Holocaust. He made a speech, so let us hear together and then we will go and continue. Is the sound is coming good or not good enough? Is is the sound of the video coming good? Not me. The, the sound of Netanyahu. Hello? All right, let me let me check out what to do. Yeah, I, I noticed that too. Okay. <laughs> Okay, what if we do this now? No nation came to our aid. Is it better now? Today, we again confirm the enemy's plan of our destruction. I say to the leaders of the L world... Lower sound? No amount of pressure. No. Okay, give me a minute. We will switch sound source output all right let us see now 80 years ago in the holocaust still bad the jewish people were totally defenseless against those who sought our destruction no nation came to our aid still low oh boy okay Still low. Hmm. Okay, give me a minute. I guess there is a genie was playing with my computer. So we will fix it. Okay. Maybe the video from original recording is low. Maybe. Let us try one more time. And see what's going on here. Okay. Eighty years ago. What about now? In the Holocaust. The Jewish people were totally defenseless. Those who sought our destruction. No nation came to our aid. Today, we again confirm the enemies bent on our destruction. I say to the leaders of the world, no amount of pressure, no decision by any international forum will stop Israel from defending itself. It's the Prime Minister of Israel, the one and only Jewish state. I pledge you today from Jerusalem on this Holocaust Remembrance Day. If Israel is forced to stand alone, Israel will stand alone. But we know we're not alone because countless decent people around the world support our just cause. And I say to you, we will defeat our genocidal enemies. Never again is now. All right, never again is now. That sound good. Uh, but you know, the, 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 the problem with Israel, that they want to accomplish something, but they are captured by many things. 
you know, Israel is divided between people who believe and people who believe not. And when I talk about belief, I'm not talking about belief in, uh, uh, in God only. We are talking about people who believe they are not even exist. So there's a huge number of in Israel, they are hippie. They are the same as those people. You see them in uh, Philadelphia, the zombies, drugs addict, uh, prostitution, uh, homosexuality, uh, all kind of uh, cra crazy stuff. Uh, they believe in peace festival, you know, like the peace festival, which they do every year, every year, uh, a few meters away from the borders of Gaza, because they are hippies, you know, they don't understand what's going on. They are, they are alien. They are coming from different galaxy. So Israel is a struggling. The struggle of Israel is not about fighting the terrorist, so-called Palestinians. The real terrorism is inside Israel. Because the Israeli are so confused, where to stand to fight against who and who is their friends. So until now, there is a huge number of dummies inside Israel. They believe that they can have peace with so-called Palestinians. Not understanding that this is not about, you know, Palestinians or non-Palestinians. This is based on religion. As long as you are a Jew, they will never let you live. It's not about the land. The land is just an excuse. Like, you know, the Jews, they live in Syria. Are they treated good in Syria? They're treated like dogs. Well, they don't occupy a land there. And why they are treated bad? What about the Jews in Iraq? What about the Jews in Egypt? What about the Jews? And what happened to them? So... Until now, after thousands of years, they did not learn that saying never again, it doesn't make it not happen. In fact, it happened again because of the stupidity of this guy we see in front of us, Netanyahu himself, and because of the stupid people of Israel. They are at war, but they go to sleep. They are at war, but they turn their phone off. They are at war, but they have festival, peace festival next to the enemy. They are at war, but they have peace festival with no guards. I mean, they have a few guards with a few guns. I mean, this is how stupid they are. So I don't want to blame the terrorists for being terrorists. I want to blame the idiot who did let the dogs out. So the first thing you need to blame yourself for what happened before you blame anyone else. This is how somebody, if you want to fix his problem, you start. You, when we start blaming others for our faults, obviously you are not seeking to fix it. If I did not pass the test, the exam, well, obviously I did not study enough good to pass the test. If I could not, you know, make success, in a business, obviously, I did not make it. I can blame everything happened around me. It was not raining. It was not, etc. There's no wind. I uh, created solar system, but you know what? The sun is suddenly gone. I can blame everybody. But the person who want to fix his mistakes, he start with his own problem by self-criticizing what they have done. And Israel suffered a big failure, and that happened because they start and they keep listening to the American. The, the American, they told them, Billy Clinton, he told them, we will sign a peace agreement with Yasser Arafat. If you do it, everything will be perfect. The stupid Israeli, they fell into the trap. They sign a peace agreement. By signing a peace agreement, the terrorists now, they are officially, officially our government. This is how stupid the Israeli. They made Yasser Arafat a big famous terrorist. He was wanted in every country. In one day, they made him a president Yasser Arafat. It's like, you know, making Osama bin Laden president Osama bin Laden. This is exactly what happened. This guy, he kidnapped European airplanes. Not only Jewish, doesn't matter who they are. He kidnapped airplanes every week. And he asked for money in return. And then you sign peace agreement with such a guy, obviously you are doomed. And Israel will never learn their lesson as long as they are obedience to America. 
The American, they don't care. The American, they always sell their friends. They have, they have no friends. Like Trump, he is supposedly the one we voted for him. Suddenly, overnight, he went with a draw from Syria. Why you want to do that? So Erdogan can kill all the Kurdish. But those poor Kurdish, you promised them that you will give them support and if they help you to fight ISIS, we are done with ISIS. Let them deal with their problems. We have enough problems. So what, what the Israeli did not learn until now, American politician, I'm not talking about American people. American people, majority of them, they are naive. I don't want to use the word idiots. But the majority didn't know even what's going on. As long as they are listening to the American, taking command from the American, they will never be successful in anything. Period. So Joe Biden told them, don't go to Rafah. The Israelis, they say, oh, no, you know, we, we don't want to make the American upset. So we will wait. Joe Biden, maybe he, have a, you know, he, he will fix the problem. He will bring us our hostages. Joe Biden, he don't care for the hostages. There's, there's many American hostages in the hand of Hamas. So if he don't care for his own citizen, why he will care for yours? They have American hostages, American. Did the filthy Joe Biden ask for the release of any of them? No. You see, when Hamas, they kidnapped citizen from Israel, the one who they are carrying a Russian passport, they've been released immediately. Immediately. Hamas did not dare to play with Putin. Hamas and all terrorists, they fear, they don't respect. Until now, a zero American hostages is released. Joe Biden never spoke about them. You know, when a, basket, uh, a basketball player, she is a lesbian, she was arrested in Russia for drugs. They found the drugs with her in the airport. Putin, he exchanged a spy for a sake such a, such a woman. Just because she is famous, she is a football player. Or basketball player, I don't know what you do. They don't care. All what they care for is how to win election. Yesterday, uh, uh, Joe Biden, he invited the guy who play in a Star War movie. I mean, look who promote them. So you want to take advice and command from those people? And you expect victory? So now, after waiting and waiting and waiting, yesterday, Hamas, they shot rockets at the humanitarian entrance between Israel and Gaza using the weakness of that spot because this is a where you know a civilian they go so Israeli they will not expect that anyone will shoot at this because you are, you are going to kill Palestinians they don't care so they shot rockets and they killed four Israeli soldiers and they injured many more and now, because of this, you decide to go to, to Rafah? What if the, 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 the Hamas they did not do it until two weeks from now? What if they will not do it until 20, 10 years from now? So here you see that the leadership in Israel, they are a bunch of potatoes, and they are so confused what to do. All what they care for is how to accomplish politics. Victory of election, not victory of a nation. This guy keep talking about going to Rafah. But if you ask yourself, shouldn't be this is the first city they enter? I mean, how stupid this Netanyahu is. All the weapon, all the tunnels, they are connected to Egypt. So why we wait if this is where all terrorism supply is coming from? Why we did not do this the first day when we attack Gaza? This should not be the last one. This should be the first one 
the Israeli. They took. This is where all the weapon, all the money, all the supply, everything, machines, digging machines, everything, everything is where it's coming from. So what this is stupid so-called Netanyahu government did, they start from the opposite side. And this is telling you how stupid this government is. When you fight an enemy, the first thing you do, you cut their supply. What they did, they cut water and electricity. Well, they have water well, they have many sources of water. Electricity, they have all the electricity they want. They have, you know, you keep sending them gas and supply, uh, uh, for, and they have generators under the ground, and they are even using the electricity of the hospitals. So instead of going to Rafah from the first day, the stupid Netanyahu and him and his cabinet, they decide to go in the other direction when there is nothing there. In fact, all the hostages is re you know, released from here. So if you are going after the hostages, well, they are here. And I will not be surprised, actually, if all the hostages right now are already in Egypt. Everybody knows they have many tunnels between Egypt and Rafah. And what they do, you know, any house close to the border wall, they start digging under the house. And they make a tunnel. And there is tons of videos in YouTube about it. And highly possible that now all the hostages already, they are in Egypt. And not only that, maybe all of Hamas, if the hostages they can go through, will Hamas they can go to? So this potato, he keeps saying Rafah now, Rafah now. And Rafah never happened. However, today, after he got busted in front of his people, showing them how stupid he is, and obviously Hamas is making fun of him, shooting rockets, killing many soldiers, and he is waiting for what? For the American to give you the blessing? You must be doomed. So now His Majesty, the stupid Netanyahu, he decided to go to Rafah and they gave evacuation order to civilian, so-called civilians, which I don't believe it exists because women, children, so-called civilian in this territory, all of them, they support terrorism and whoever support terrorism is a terrorist. In order to have a terrorist, you have to have a, it's like the weeds, you know, the weeds. The weed will not grow if there is no soil. They will not grow in the air. So in order to have a terrorism organization, you have to have first an individual terrorist. Many individuals, they make an organization. But in order to have individual terrorists, you have to have a terrorist family where the child, when he is growing, they teach him to be a terrorist. And this is the situation. They say to you, those are civilians, but the fact this is the terrorist hub. It's like the, 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 the colony of the ants. There's many fighters, but there's only one female laying eggs. So what do you do? You go after the fighters, but in fact, you can eliminate the whole colony by killing the queen which is laying the eggs. And the eggs of terrorism is coming from Islam. Civilians, not civilians, there's no such a th civilians. All of them, they dance in the street in October 7, including children. Israel, I worry too much about civilians, but did that gain you anything? Anyone think really that the West Understand that Israeli, they suffer a lot and sacrifice a lot to avoid civilian casualty. No, they still spit at you. They still they strike against you. They still control, you know, they hijack university against you. Doesn't matter what you do, still they will spit on you. So they keep 
doing things which is shameful, you know, it's really shameful in war. It's a shame that you tell your enemy to leave the building because you are going to hit it. So who are going to hit who? If you remember, right away after October 7, I made a video. You can go back and check it out. I made a video. It says, look at the stupid Israeli. Like always I was looking, I said to myself, how in the world those people, they are pointing the cameras, everybody pointing his phone, this journalist post pointing their camera at this building. Why? I mean, if the Israeli will attack it, how come everybody knows? It turned to be that the stupid Israeli army, they send messages to the terrorists and everybody around the building say, hey, we are going to attack this building. Have you ever heard of a stupidity like this? Have you ever heard of somebody when I kill a terrorist, he sent him a text message saying to him, leave the building? And what is the excuse? We don't want to hurt civilians. And the funny is, Israeli, they do that, but the American, they never send a text message in Baghdad or Iraq, in Afghanistan. They just shoot. So the American, they want the Israeli to take care for civilian life, but the American themselves, when they go at war, they don't care for civilian life. This is what happened when you have a bunch of idiots controlling a nation. They always do their work in a very awkward way. This war should not take six months. This war should be done in six days. Six days. Let the whole world go crazy, but in six days it's over. And trust me, the Israeli, they have all the means to finish the war in a day, not even six. We are now in May 6. The Hamas, they started their attack in October 7 last year. What those guys are doing? Humanitarian aids, okay, you are feeding your enemy. Oh, the whole world is angry. Who care? You see, if those stupid people insist that we will not open the food line to you unless you release our citizen, the civilian themselves, they will attack Hamas. If they are civilians. If there is no food is coming and no more resource, Hamas, they cannot keep those, you know, those hostages. So the Israeli, they, uh, they, this is what happened when you do obey the stupid Western. Stupid Western, all, always, they never brought anything good to the world. Nothing good. And I'm talking about government. They support terrorists in Syria. Hundreds of millions of dollars billions of dollars sent to Syria. To who? Specifically, Sunni terrorists and Hamas. This is stupid donkey himself. He supported Hamas in Syria. You can go right now and search for Netanyahu visiting hospital in the Jolan Height, where they open a hospital for, they call them the Syrian rebels. But they are Hamas. They are Muslim Brotherhood. So this idiot himself, he fed, he armed, he weaponized Hamas. Oh, as long as Hamas, they are killing my neighbors, it's okay. I mean, we support them. But Hamas killing our citizen? No way. And this is what the American did. The American, they supported Osama bin Laden, a very filthy dog. They made articles about him in Washington Post. 
about a hero. He left his country, Saudi Arabia, to defend the freedom in Afghanistan. Freedom? Osama bin Laden was fighting for freedom? <laughs> so they supported the terrorist, Al-Qaeda. They trained them how to make weapons, how to make bombs. They trained them. They even gave them, you know, missiles to show the, the Soviet Union helicopters and airplanes. Senators, they went to Taliban and to, to Al-Qaeda and they were saying to them, Allahu Akbar. John McCain, the filthy, he took a flight and he went all the way and he passed the border to Syria. And he met with the terrorist Al-Qaeda. Do you see what happened when you have government, they are sold to the devil? They speak about morality, they speak about democracy, they speak about a freedom, but they support terrorists who want to kill you if you say a word they don't agree with them. I believe strongly that Israel is being punished. They are being punished for their stupidity. The same as the American being punished for their stupidity. The same as European are punished for their stupidity. Look what's happening in, in Europe. They are doomed. Every day there is a stabbing. Every day there is a kidnapping. Every day there is rape. By who? You know who. All of them, because they are hypocrites, they don't understand that when you defend the devil, the devil will eat you first. If you speak against Islam, they call you Islamophobic. Anyone remember I said if there is any Israeli would like to join us in our channel? Do you know what the response came to me? They said, you know, we don't want to make it uh, against Islam. Your channel is against Islam, like, period. Uh, and we don't want to make it, uh, you know, you know, we, want to, we are against Hamas only. So, the hypocrite official in Israel, they did not dare to join in my channel because they don't dare to say the problem is Islam. The problem with Hamas, Hamas is the Islamic organization. Like, isn't it obvious that all those who hate you, they share one religion? I mean, why a person, he is from Indonesia, he want to kill you? Do Indonesia have a border with you? Why is somebody from Afghanistan making a threat to you? Why Iran launching a rocket at you? Do they have a border with you? There's only one reason. They are Muslims. So when you sign agreement with the devil, you will be punished. And the Israeli are being punished for being politically correct, hypocrite, and they don't have David no more. They don't have the teenage David who is willing to fight a giant with a rock. They don't have the heart of David no more. They are worried about what people will say about us in TV. Well, people will hate you in TV, it doesn't matter what you do. Because TV is controlled by the one who paid the TV. And the one who paid the TV is Qatar, is Emirat, is Bahrain, is Saudi Arabia. Sky News owned by Emirat. If you believe it or not, BBC Arabic, from the day it was started to the way the day it was dismissed, all the salary was paid by Saudi Arabia. In fact, Al Jazeera TV opened when Saudi Arabia one day decided to stop paying salary to the BBC. Can you believe it? Why in the world a country like England need Saudi Arabia to pay salary for their employees? So you open to listen to the BBC and you think yourself, oh, I'm listening to England. In fact, you are listening to Saudi Arabia. You turn and you listen to Sky News. Oh, this is Sky News Australia. Oh, this is Sky News England. Well, this is Sky News Dubai. It's owned by Emirat.
I'm not going to keep you long, and I'm not planning to stay long. I want to say thank you for not supporting us, because we stay six hours, and then I found that the video, still we have a little people view. People who open their camera saying nothing, they have seven, eight times more than someone who stays six hours, losing his voice, giving you real education, with reference and evidence. We the one who stay six, seven, eight hours, and we don't even get the view of a cartoon. And if a girl, she is a blonde, showing her chest, she will have 200,000 view in one day. So I don't want to waste your time. I don't want to make you upset. I'm really disappointed of people. I received text messages. A guy, he said to me, my friend, he's a Jew, and he was banned in your chat. You have Jewish haters, admins. Look like if you're Jew, you think you have a privilege here. We will be a, we ban Christians too. If you say stupid things, we ban you. It doesn't matter who you are. So people are really stupid. They think they have a privilege. They don't help us. They support us. They don't even post a comment. I'm not going to talk about donation. Don't even mention that. Everybody like things for free. Yet we got nothing but complain. So I don't want to waste your time. I hope you will enjoy your day and you watch better channels because here we say things which is going to hurt your ears and it's not going to make you comfortable. So why do you want to be here? I wonder. You better go to a place where you can hear something better. Here, we don't sugarcoat and we got no appreciation. Thank you all for being here. May the Lord bless you. And we don't care if you support us or not. If the Lord is with me, who could be against me?